Well, it, it, it's good one to be back of, uh, of racing in, in almost normality. Um, obviously a few COVID issues that we have to go through, um, but uh, of walking around the boat parks, the, uh, the grandstand uh, and the athletes themselves, it's a lot less than we had to go through last year. And so it's great in some ways of the sport becoming back to, to normality. I think there's about three, four teams that are, are wearing masks uh, around around people. That's the, the Chinese team that I'm with. Uh, the British have been uh, are doing it as well, um, which makes sense, especially for some of the countries coming in from uh, outside Europe. Um, uh, that uh, have, our countries have opened up hugely, but that isn't the case across the, across the world. Uh, it's the first time I've been with the Chinese team since, since Tokyo, and it was great of uh, watching all the crews race this morning. Uh, I was hoping that, uh, that uh, some of our boats have moved on. I think some of our smaller boats um, uh, haven't. Um, uh, that, uh, uh, because of the cancellation of the World Championships last year, in my uh, program of, of, of developing the performance out in China, the, the Shanghai World Championships was a big part of that. Because being after the Tokyo Games, which was late, is that we knew quite a lot of teams that wouldn't come and it was quite a, a good mark to, to show the movement of the team getting stronger and more to the point from my point of view showing the athletes that they, they can compete on the world stage and then losing that I think that has been a bit of a setback for the Chinese team. Um, they've tried to train hard during the winter which I'm sure they have but this weekend is, is the reality of, of, of seeing where they, where they stand in, in the world. Uh, the women's quad were dominant for the last uh, 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 three years um, on the build-up to, to, to Tokyo and obviously they took the, the gold medal. And there's two of the girls left in the women's quad uh, at the moment. Uh, their final isn't to, um, to Sunday, they've got a straight final, six, en six entries. But in their test event they came second. Uh, one of the girls that was in the quad uh, was in the single this morning and she won a heat. One of the girls that was in the sculling squad uh, on the way up to Tokyo is that uh, uh, was in the double and then at last minute got put in uh, as we strengthened our eight from moving some of the smaller boats is that she went into the four so she uh, uh, um, uh, uh, was, was pleased to be in that four but I think she's glad to be back in the sculling group and she won her heat in the, in, in the, the singles as well. Men's four, I was a bit surprised with that uh, they, that was a good performance this morning in the heat. So it's hopefully that they can carry that on during the regatta. And I suppose the boats that is probably the top one is probably the men's quad, and they had a, a really good performance today. Uh, that's a makeup of, of last year's quad that uh, uh, finished seventh, which is the same quad that finished sixth at the World Championships the year before and uh, they've got the bow man from the double which were outstanding for the last couple of years within the world circuit so uh, that looks like it, it's um, um, pushing for medals within that category of boat now obviously early regatta lot, lot to see a lot more entries to come in from other countries um, but it's, it's nice to see a lot of countries here racing and, and finding their feet in this very short olympiad